Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Player of the Month Delort card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is 511, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills with a three star weak foot. I do wish EA actually improved the weak foot and skill moves of these cards to a minimum four star, four star, because I think it'd be really, really fun, but he'd probably be more expensive if that was the case. But three star, three star, we could definitely work with that in the striker position. Hopefully his high, high work rates don't affect the card too much in regards to attacking AI, because sometimes it's a little bit strange uh, to have in the striker position as a lone striker, not necessarily as a secondary striker. But uh, in regards to his in-game traits, he does have the outside foot shot trait, which does compensate a lot for the fact that he has a three-star weak foot. He's got 87 acceleration with 94 sprint speed, which is interesting. He's got 87 attacking positioning, 88 finishing, 98 shot power, 85 volleys, and 83 composure. Uh, passing on the card for base card stats is good. You don't necessarily need to improve it. You just have to be aware that his curving on the passes are not going to be too crazy if you want to use him in any of the other attacking positions, right? Because this doesn't look like only a striker card. He looks like the type of card you can use in any of the attacking positions, uh, which is pretty cool. Dribbling on the card is something that we're going to have to improve as much as possible, though. So let's take a look and see what people actually decided to give him because he's a... SPC that costs 79k, which isn't too crazy for a, a concept card, right? Um, finisher, Hawk, Chemistry Style. Finisher makes the most sense because of the massive dribbling boost that he gets, as well as the massive finishing boost that he gets. So it does make sense to give him that if I want to use him in the striker position. However, if I want to use him on the sides, depending on how you guys want to use him, uh, it would make more sense to give him the Hawk chemistry style and compensate for the dribbling as much as possible. He is a 5'11 player with apparently a stocky body type in game. So for me personally, I do think it makes the most sense to boost his dribbling as much as possible with that finisher chemistry style playing in that striker area because... With his shot power for base card stats being really good, I feel like that's going to be very, very important because base characteristics are always the most noticeable thing when it comes to using cards in FIFA. So the fact that he does have that 98 shot power is very important, but boosting the dribbling from the base card stats, I feel like is going to be very important to give as well. Uh, the cool thing with this card is that if he does have that stocky body type with improved dribbling stats, he also has some pretty good physical stats too at 91 strength, 85 stamina, 88 for jumping at with 86 aggression. So the way that I want to try out this card in game, as usual, is going to be in the 4-2-3-1, right? So we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 balance tactics, right? Nothing too crazy. We're just going to have him on comeback and defense because I want to see what his base characteristic is like in regards to attacking empty space. So we'll use him with the just come back in the fence. You know, he is a high, high work rate player. So I am curious to see how he's going to work off of Mbappe. Like if Mbappe occupies his position and the Lord starts to occupy the cam spot, so on and so forth. These tactics, if you guys haven't seen them yet, I do have a video for them. So be sure to check it out. I kind of explain how I like the cam and the striker to work when it comes to the 4-2-3-1 formation. But uh, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Okay, so this guy has a pretty cool team. Hey man, he's got some Portuguese swagger up in there. Okay, okay, I like it. So right now, guys, I'm trying him just with the basic chemistry style because I want to see how he performs from base card stats with the basic chem style. So I just want to see how he moves across the pitch. Ooh, a good movement. That's That movement I actually like a lot. That initial movement was good. Nice, he actually moves to the side positions. This is without the finisher chemistry style, guys, just for the first version. I just want to see what's up with him. I feel like his dribbling, guys, is actually not that bad. So with the finisher chemistry style, it'll only be improved for sure. Ooh. My boy, you're going to hit that like that? Okay. Take it easy, Delort. Oh, good physical. Oh, I wanted to shoot that, but it just wasn't ideal. He was going to block that area anyways. But areas like that where you have the pace and the physical presence to be able to outbody people in those areas is really, really nice. Nice to win the ball in the air there, but heading in this game accuracy-wise from the first-time header is not great. So... Can he get them in front? 
Bro, let's go, man. I kind of had to like shimmy him a little bit, you know? I have to work that space. But dude, with his left foot, nice little strike right there. Beautiful stuff. I'll be honest with you guys, this card is definitely really fun to use so far. I'm liking him a lot. Oh, I just wanted to get that finesse shot angle there. Am I going to still score this? <laughs> uh, that's... It do be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. But man, you know what, guys? Delort is... Uh, he's not bad so far, man. I'm, I'm enjoying him for sure. See, here's the thing with this card, man. Three-star weak foot. But because... Here's the thing, okay? Because he has the shot power, he can still bang these opportunities into the back of the net. That base card stat for shot power is being the most noticeable thing so far for him. You could definitely feel that base characteristic of his dribbling not being like crazy high, obviously, but you could definitely compensate well enough for it, for sure. Yeah, see how he rotates with the, uh, with the Mbappe card? That physical presence is going to be a huge help for this card, for sure. First time strike. Dude, I'm just scoring all the opportunities with his left foot. <laughs> this is hilarious. Notice how I'm scoring these opportunities with his left foot without the dribbling boost and without the shooting capabilities. Now imagine giving him, right, that finisher chemistry style. It's all his left foot, dude. I'm just doing stuff with his left foot right now. This is hilarious, bro. What does the basic give him? Basic gives him a plus five for sprint speed, a little bit of a dribbling boost. Nah, chat, I'm telling you this right now. Guys, look at the look at the difference with that. If you give him a finisher, he plays like this on basic. Nah, bro, guys. Man, you know what it is, bro? It's so crazy. How shot power is so important. It's insane, bro. It's literally insane. You know what's also really good? It's the fact that he has that base card stat of 88 finishing with 92 shot power and high, high work rates. He's definitely moving across the pitch really nicely, man. I just wanted to try him on the basic first because look at how the card's formatted with the basic. He has the dribbling, passing, shooting, right? But I just, I just think the finisher would be dope on him, bro. I really do. Oh, I wanted to try to skim him from there. I didn't have to. I should have just shot the ball immediately. But you can still tell from his base characteristic, guys, that you still need to boost the uh, dribbling as much as possible. So it's pretty obvious you give him the uh, finisher chemistry style to boost that as much as possible for sure. You also notice his acceleration not being crazy high either. 87 acceleration will be perfectly fine for him, though, guys. If you're playing him in the striker position, 100%. Finesse shot from there? Not a bad strike under pressure, to be fair, man. Yeah, you see that that lack of dribbling presence that he has, it's noticeable for sure. Like those quick one-twos, you'll definitely notice that, 100%. With the finisher, though, you'll notice it less. You know what I'm saying, chat? People wonder why I say chat all the time. It's because uh, when I stream, I always like talk to chat, so I, say, I call them chat. And then it's also because of uh, YouTube comment section. Like, it's like the same thing, you know? I call you guys comment section chat, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> oh, good. He adjusts his run right there. I like when they adjust their run from my dribble. Like if I take that small touch upwards, I want him to angle his run there. Like here, you see? See how he starts to go into that empty space right there? I love that. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Delort card. Honestly, he's pretty fun to use in game. Now, he's obviously a concept card for sure, but he's not too expensive. He's at 79k. So if you want to have fun with a card like this, that plays in the League One, that gives you that Algerian link for whatever reason, for the fun concept, um, he's definitely going to be really cool to use. Now, I was using him just on the basic chemistry style because I was taking a look at his stats and seeing what he actually gets improved in, right? What I felt like he needed most was the finishing boost as much as possible, right? The dribbling, agility, and balance is an absolute must for this card. But the thing that makes this card really fun to use, regardless of the fact that he doesn't have 
the four star weak foot minimum. The three star weak foot is still perfectly fine because of the fact that his base card stats for shooting at 88 finishing and 98 shot power is already pretty good, right? If the dribbling bothers you so much, you know, you could give him any sort of chemistry style that can boost his dribbling as much as possible. I do think that the engine chemistry style could be another card you could give him, but I don't feel like you're going to notice that big of a difference uh, in regards to his dribbling because his agility is not that high up. It's the finisher that boosts the agility as much as possible that will help that uh, part of the card as much as possible, right? So uh, you'll notice, obviously, the 87 acceleration with 94 sprint speed. This is the type of card you strictly use as a striker, right? Don't use them anywhere else. You can if you want to, but I just think he plays best in that striker position with the way that he moves across the pitch. Um, the stocky body type that he has, as well as the stats, very, very noticeable in game. So that's obviously going to affect the dribbling in a negative way, obviously. But you'll still be able to compensate for his dribbling in game because the base card stats are not terrible. They're just not super ideal for quick, responsive gameplay with the way that the game feels, obviously, right? But it's still a fun card to use. Finisher chemistry style will definitely fix a lot of the issues. He plays more like a four-star weak foot because of base card stats for shooting. Um, it's a fun card to get if you guys want to have fun with him. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.